Star Media presents. Nineteen eighty two. Come on, let me do it. Hold on, Vasya. Vasya, you'll screw everything up, Jenny. I'm asking you as a friend. Let me go first. All right. Hey there, curly haired beauty. I can see you've got great legs and lots of backs. Can you see the poet in me yet? <laughs> see, you were in the too big of a hurry and broke your heel. The heel's got the secret, doesn't it? Very funny. Can I have a name of my beauty? I'm not your beauty, you know. But the beauty does have a name. Even if she's mine yet. Yes. Well? My name is Mila. You know, I just knew it would be Mila. Seriously, I knew it. Listen, try to guess my name. Look, I'm in a hurry. It's not that hard. It's either Alexander, Vasily or Yevgeny. What do you think? Yevgeny. Why Yevgeny? I don't know. Alexander is a bit too manly for you. Vasily is too simple. Yevgeny fits you. Hey, you guessed right. It really is Yevgeny. And Vasily is my best friend's name. He's too simple for me, then. No, why would he be? You compliment each other. That must be why you're friends. Yep, I'm with him right now. We are going to training session. And you must be going somewhere too, but you have nothing to wear. Yeah, I have. That's why I have a great proposition for you. Can you guess what this? Listen, how about when you've taken the groceries to your dad? We go see a movie. A movie? Yeah, why not? Is Vasily coming with us? Sure thing, Mila. No, Vas is busy. Present day. Poor, poor Evgeny Ivanovich. This is going to shake his world. He's always been so well groomed, so respectable. Mommy, stop it. Mila took such good care of him. Calm down. How he's going to live now that Mila's gone. Mom, he's got children. No, the children will never replace Mila. Gala, what's that grave doing next to Mila's? Didn't he choose a proper place? Mummy, calm down. Is she going to be there alone, surrounded by other people's graves? Mummy, you can't cry about everyone. My condolences. You jinxed her. Thank you for coming, Uncle Vasya. I'll tell you what, guys. If anything happens, I mean, if anything else happens, call me right away. What else can happen? They're scaring me. Don't be scared. The important thing is to call me right away. Okay, we will. Aren't you coming to the commemoration with us? No, I'm sorry. Your father is angry at me, as if I did something wrong. Well, it's his own problem. Uncle Vas, come with us. Let's go. No. I don't want him to get mad because I'm there. You will call me Dro, right? Uncle Vasya. I'll be at the grave, okay? 
Do you know what just happened? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I remember everything, Mila. I'll do everything like you wanted. And they call me. So, the breast cancer statistics for women, unfortunately, aren't very comforting. Turn the TV off. My dear opponent has proved himself to be a qualified doctor. I thank him for that. But as a man, he didn't stand the test. Like thousands of men, there, on the other side of the screen, I blame men and most of all husbands. Igor, turn the TV off. I think that men are to blame for all women's health problems. Dad, can I take a few photos as mementos? Sure. Have many of you provided such conditions for women that they could watch their health more closely? How many times have you come out in the cold for them? That's your father. To hang out the laundry to dry? I thought this picture was lost. Turns out it was here. Throw it out. Why do you have to say things like that? He's your father. How many times have you offered to take care of women? You two look a lot like each other. Ivan Kapitonovich Kotov. I think he visited us when we were little. Nonsense. He couldn't have visited. And not just offered that she goes. Turn the TV off already! He's doing that on purpose. My dear man, can you sometimes? Really? So I can hear everything. To make me feel guilty. Come on, Dad. I don't see why you didn't consult me when you were choosing the place in the cemetery. What don't you like? I told you already. What don't I like? The way people talk. There is no room next to you. No room. Mom is alone. Bury them all other people. And when it's my turn, you will bury me at the junkyard. Since when do you care what people say? What are you trying to say? Stop it, you two. Nothing. I get it. You're trying to put it into my head. Stop it! That I didn't love mom enough, right? Uncle Vasa did it, right? So when I would go on business trips all the time, earn money, slave away at work, that was my way of saying I didn't love mom, right? Business trips, huh? And then after mother would get calls after those trips. Cute female voices would ask for Zeni a little bit very surprised that you have a wife and children. Igor! Igor what? What the hell are you going on about? Stop being a hypocrite. We got in your way all your life. Got in the way of your fun. And those women really did call. Mom just wouldn't tell you about it. Igor, enough. And then she would cry at night in the kitchen so she wouldn't wake you up. Shut your mouth. Let me have my say. Enough of that. Dad, don't listen to him. Don't listen to what he says. Are you done? No, I'm not done. Just so you know, it was a mom's decision to be buried here, next to the old grave, and no place else. Just so you know, I'm really glad. I'm ecstatic that mom had a secret from you. What secret? I don't know, some secret. But she said it over six months ago. She wanted us to bury her here and no place else. She bought the land a long time ago and got all the papers for it. Want me to show them to you? Who's buried there? Who? Some relatives of hers, maybe. What relatives? We don't have any relatives in this cemetery. Dad! Wait up, please! Dad! Dad! Lena, get your hands off of me! Get off! I thought you'd be there forever. Who's there next to you? Who's buried there next to you? You can't do that. You can't do that. Stop. What do you want? I was sent to you. From where? Somewhere where they know everything about you. I have a mission for you. Buzz off! 23 years ago, you went on a business trip to Vladivostok. You cheated on your wife there. You spent a whole month in Vladivostok. Here is the letter you wrote her. 
The woman you were with the whole time in Vladivostok would call your wife for a long time. That's where your son's memories about women calling his mom come from. She would cry a lot after that. Who are you? I just told you. I come from a place where they know all about you. Evgeny Ivanovich, let's get out of here. Let's find some cafe, sit down and talk. It's rather cold here, after all. Hello, dear Mila. I'll miss you and our kids very much. But the situation at work has changed. I still have to deal with the train cars. I'm going to have stay here another week. I don't get it. Where did you get all this? Evgeny Ivanovich, I just explained it to you. These things never vanish for good. They stay just like it did and talks. And my mission is to explain it to you. You are interested in the unmarked grave. It appeared during the time you were in Vladivostok on the business trip. Who is in it? Who? I don't know. I'm just a simple worker. There are many of us and each one has a job. My job is to protect you, to keep you from doing something irrevocable. How do I find who's buried there? I was told that if you persist, I could offer you a trip to the past. I could send you to your wife. And you try to answer all questions yourself. Do you want it? What is it? How? It's very simple. You won't arouse any suspicion in anyone. So I won't be myself? No, you'll be yourself. But you won't be as young as your wife. You'll be your real age. Okay, and what if, say, I met myself? You won't. You aren't paying attention. I've told you that the grave you're interested in appeared during the time you were in Vladivostok on the business trip. Those three weeks are where we are going to send you. And if it goes wrong, the law of obstruction will take effect. If you occupy young Evgeny's place, the double cannot approach the spot you are in. But I would like to warn you, Evgeny Ivanovich. If you try to take young Evgeny's place for good, that's if you don't come back in three weeks, young Evgeny's fate will start changing for the worst. So let's not experiment too much, Evgeny Ivanovich. We don't need that. So do you agree to come to your wife for three weeks? Yes. Okay. Well, this is your new passport. And the money, too. It's real. Put all this stuff in your briefcase. Quote of Ivan Kapitanovich. Put this. My father? Yes, it's very convenient. Firstly, you look very similar. Secondly, he's the same age you are now. Can he show up there all of a sudden? You are paying any attention, Evgeny Ivanovich. I've told you about the law of obstruction already. Besides, he never once thought of you. How is he? Is he alive? Dead? Dead. It's time, Evgeny Ivanovich. Sir, maybe he's a foreigner. Comrade, comrade. Why are you calling comrade? Look what he's wearing. Sir? Comrade. Who's going to pay for your ticket? Pushkin? He's a foreigner. Sir? Do you speak English? Can you understand Russian? Yeah, yeah, I can. 
Really? He's from around here, dreaming about foreigners all day. Who hasn't daydreamed about foreigners? Are you okay? How are you feeling? Not. Is everything okay? I'm good. Pay for the ticket, then. How much? What? The ticket. How much? Get a lot of this guy. I can see you from a party, right? You're pretty far removed from the people then, if you don't even know how much the bus tickets cost. I've been with the people all my life. I've never left them. Not what they think, look at your get up. Don't be a wise guy. The ticket is five copics. Here's your change. Thank you. you believe a whole batch of imported bras was distributed among the cronies? Nothing arrived to the shop. Look at that man. And we're talking about bras. <laughs> they sell head health halibut, right? It's a good thing. And what's the price? Up, I can't hear you. Come on, those veterans again. My wife is sick. What does she have to do with anything? I have a right, do you understand? Do you have any children? Yes. And grandchildren? They're at work now, they can't. Braids. I'm going to comb them Just with the fine tooth comb. Hey, sir. Hello. goes around the tree the fastest. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Lena? No, no, that's it. Let's go. Hello. 
It's me. It's me. You. You're Ivan Kapitanovich, right? You're Zhenya's dad. Yeah. How did you know? It's just that you look like him a lot. So, did you get my letter? Did you? I just didn't know uh, where to write, so I mailed it to two addresses at random. A letter? That's right. Oh, it's raining. Come on, don't get wet. It. Get under the awning. It's just that we didn't know anything about you. Zhenya's mom told him you were born somewhere around Saratov, but Zhenya couldn't remember where exactly, whether it was in Ivanovka or Ivanteevka. So I took a look at the map and found two places with similar names and mailed it to both. Does he know? Does Zhenya know? About the letter? No, he doesn't know anything. Why didn't you tell him? It was my decision to introduce you two to each other, you know? Why? Excuse me, but because I think it's wrong when father and son don't talk to each other at all. And after all, you're alive and well. You take no interest in... Sorry, that's none of my business. And Zheni isn't home. Unfortunately, he just left on a business trip. He's in the Far East. He'll only be back in about three weeks. Was that you calling me about 20 minutes ago? I just thought it was Zhenya. Yeah, it was me. I couldn't hear you. The phone wasn't working. Mom, he broke the bike! What did he break again? Igor, what's the matter with you? When Daddy comes back, he'll yell at you. It was her! Her! Who broke it, Igor? Why are you doing this? She broke it! She broke my bike! Hey, what are you slandering your little sister for? Well, both of you are a piece of work. Just like always. These are our children, Lena, Igor. So you're telling on each other now, huh? Go to the house, go. I'll be there in a minute. You must be hungry. And here I am, keeping you in the street. Let's go inside. I'll cook you some lunch. So, where are you from, after all? Ivanovka or Ivanteevka? Ivanteevka. Ivanteevka. Awesome. Mila, I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Can I stay at your place or something? While I'm waiting for Zhenya to meet him. When he's supposed to come? Two or three weeks? That's right. So, can I stay? Of course you can. It's just that Zhenya... He doesn't know I wrote to you. I don't know how he'll take it. I see. You're afraid he won't be very glad. I don't know. I mean, I'd love it if you two met and actually talked to each other somehow. I could tell him I found you myself, if you want. You won't have to make excuses. Yeah, it would be great. It will be our little secret. Can you keep a little secret from your husband? 
Not really. I don't have any secrets from Zhenya, actually. Do you love him? Very much. Hey there! Aunt Wari, is that you? Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Bon appétit. Thank you. I saw someone walk by. I thought Evgeny came back, but I think it's too early. No, that wasn't Zhenya. That was Zhenya's father. Yeah. Ivan Kapitanovich, meet on Tavaria. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. So, seems like something important's happened here. That's right. Tea or compote? No, thank you. I don't want anything. Why did the father remember his son all of a sudden? It's not like he was terribly interested before. Aunt Varya, Aunt Varya, what? Aunt Varya, what? You're a young girl. Could be anything. I just want to know. I want to know the purpose of the trip. I came here. I want to see my son at last. To ask him for forgiveness. That's right. All right. Uh, and what's your job? I'm in supplies. Well, I'll be just like Zhenya. I can see you're not exactly poor. Are you married? Aunt Varya, calm down. I am a widower. I see. What are you being all silent for? Why don't you say something? What can I say? He just got here. I literally just arrived. Well, I wanted to tell him about you, about how nice you were. Oh, come on now. You probably wanted to tell him how I married the granddad, right? Really now, Aunt Maria, I wanted to tell him how lucky Jenny and I are living here at your place. I know what they say about me. Aunt Maria, stop it. What are you talking about? I just wanted to tell him how lucky we are to have you. Well, we aren't friends with your mother for nothing. Zoya is Mila's mother. We've been working at the sewing factory together for 20 years. And when old man, the neighbor, asked me to marry him, I moved to his place. And I'm renting my house to them for 35 rubles. Do you know how much the rent is in this suburb? No less than 40 or 50. Thank you. Thank you for helping the kids. Yeah, I help, unlike some others. All oh, right, the reason I came here... That old man of mine got sick and I have to go to the city. It's nothing serious, but do take care of him. Sure thing, Aunt Varya, no problem. And where are your kids? Napping after lunch. What's that? Right, I'll go check up with them. Sorry. It's all pretty simple around here. I watch over her kids if need be. And what? Can I simply call you Vara? Of course. I've been meaning to ask you, would you happen to have some late clothes? Like some work clothes? You know, to do things around the house and all that. Because, as you can see, I was traveling light and I'm afraid that Janice will be too small for me. <laughs> Nails? Do we have any drain oil? We don't. Until when? Come back in a couple of days. A hammer. A hammer. And a handsaw. And a handsaw. There you go. Eight. The teeth are sharp. The handsaw is good. What else? Oh, a jack plane. We don't have a jack plane. Really? Too bad. And what that you have there? A joint plane? Yeah, a joint plane. Give me the joint plane then. The thing is, the boss put it away for himself. But in the week uh, we'll have a new shipment, so... What? Can we somehow resolve this situation quicker? Well, how much? Well, you understand. Of course I do. How much? Fifteen. Deal. All in all, thirty-eight, seventy. 
Your face looked familiar. You remind me of someone. Really? Of course. Here, keep the change. Thank you. The future of the new Russia. You'll be doing well in some 10 or 15 years. It's yours for three rubles. Stole it from the kids. Don't have any kids, only a wife. Okay, let me have a look. Is it working at least? Of course. Is it any film for it? Yeah. Did you bite the fork off? No, I put it on the flat iron. All right. Is everything intact? Okay, unload it. Holy moly! Okay, I'm off. You should find some pack animals to carry all this stuff. Come on, hurry up! Boss, I'll find them. You know me. I can find anyone. Here, here. Hey there, Vasily. Don't you recognize me? Be more specific. Mister. No? Show me the passport. Do I have a passport with you? What a strict guy you are. There. There is your passport. Kotov. Yeah, Kotov, Kotov. Aren't you there? What's your word? Has it healed yet? What word? The one you tore open with the bust whisk. You couldn't wait. You were going to that date with Sveta, and she didn't put out that night anyway. Remember it, Vasa? What about how we would steal apples from our neighbor Vita, and then he got out and shot salt at us. And then we bought our butts in the river for two hours. That's when you got that word. Come on, Vasya. When are you going to repair my flashy glasses? The ones you set on when you're drunk. Why don't you say something? Jenny? Yeah, That's me. It's very cruel to tell a person they will die. You see, if Mila knew that she was going to die, that's a lot of suffering. I see all of that. There's something else I want to know. Why did she keep secret from me? And who was it? Who was the person that was so important to her? Now? Have you seen anything? Have you found anything out? Is anything becoming clearer now? That's the thing. Nothing is clearer. I can't imagine Mila with anyone. Well, someone else. Vasya, let's go to the cemetery. What for? Come on, let's go. Okay. Good beer. What are you doing? You are driving. All right, let's go. Vasya, say hello to your dad for us.
the fifth. There, look. They're going to bury her here. Next to another grave. No plague, no cross. See? It's not there yet. And that angel says, I don't know his name. Well, it's going to appear there soon, two or three weeks. Женя, well, I don't think she had, has anyone. Could be a relative? What relative? She didn't have any. Her father is buried in the regional center, her mother too. Even if it's a relative, an uncle or an uncle, right? Why didn't she tell me? It's not like she can just leave me out. Why did she tell our son, our daughter, but not me? And as if it wasn't enough, she didn't even want them to tell me. Why? It means that, that someone was important to her. Like Kiva. I understand. Who is going to be buried here? Vasya, promise me. If I don't find out anything really soon, you'll come to me, I mean, young me, and tell me everything, everything. And you'll warn me, as a friend, that Mila has someone else, got it? You'll tell me everything, all about that guy. I can promise you that. Let them live in peace, don't pester them. I'm muddle-headed as it is because all of this stuff. Promise me, you bastard! Get your hands off of me! Let's go. I'm not going any further. So, yeah. Why not? Won't you even come in? Have a sip of compote? What for, Shane? We don't know each other. What are you going to tell her? Don't know? Well, think of something. Like we met by accident. Why are you doing this? Zhenya, come on. Leave them alone. Easy for you to say, Vasya. You don't want to help me. What choice do you leave me? Only to tell Mila who I am. I know. You're jealous. But there's a line. You've got to understand. This is selfish. Come on, Zhenya. And lying to me for 25 years isn't selfish? Think about it. All right, you go. I have some business with Mila anyway. I'll come over in the five minutes. That's where we meet. What kind of business? Женя. Don't you do any monkey business? Отелло. All right, I'll come over in five minutes. I'll come over in five minutes. Ivan Kapitanovich, why did you have to spend so much? Come on now, it was nothing. It's too much. That's all right. The man of the house should have tools. Now, how do we teach that man of the house to use them? Are you talking about Jenny? Who else? Ivan Kapitanovich, he knows how to do everything. You have no idea how great he is. It's just that he never has the time. Yeah, never has the time. Look, do you remember? We had this when we were kids. So why not keep bugging me? Take it, take it. All right, I'll fix it, and Igor and Lena will have cartoons. Thank you. Vasily! Hello. Hello. What's that you have there? Potatoes. Can't have my best friend's family starve, can I? Vasya. You have guests? What thoughtful friends you have. Especially when the husband isn't there. 
Ivanka Petanovich, meet Genya's best friend. And this is Genya's dad. Dad? Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. Vasily. Ivan Kapitonovich. I see now why the father's watching us so strictly. Mila, mm -hmm. I am so thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? There's some compote. Compote, great. Yes, please. I'll bring it right away. Thank you very much. Thank for the potatoes. Zhenya, don't you think about telling her anything? Got it? Got it, got it. Look, Vasya. What if... What if what? What? Come on. Take it. This, you drink here. And this is a jar for you to take home, Vasya. Thank you. For me? For the potatoes, I don't know. Come on, Mila, don't, Mila, come on. I put my heart into it, Vasya. I love you, Kompot. Thank you, Mila. No, thank you. Zhenya asked you to do it, didn't he? No, no. Zhenya doesn't know. Let Zhenya work in Vladivostok, in peace. Drink up, don't be shy. Thank you. I think I'll run off to my work now, or else uh, they'll tear my shoulder straps off. Here you go. Thank you very much. No, thank you. I was very glad to meet you. See you. Looks like Zhenya, doesn't he? He does. See you. And again, thank you, Vasya. They've been friends since they were children. I see. Quite a working man we have here. Hello. Hello. Zaya You even know my name. Did Mila tell you? Yep. Interesting. What else did she tell you? Nothing. I heard we had guests. I thought I'd go meet them, so here I am. Well, good job. What could I say? It's a good job. You've done a good job. Which is more than I can say about your son. Why do you dislike him? It's not that I dislike him, but he's not that great around the house. He's more into business trips. He loves to work. Far away from home. Even if no one's sending him on a business trip, he's just begging for one. He wants to go to the back of the beyond just so much. All right, enough about sad things. I've brought you some stuff. One minute. Varya! What do you want? Come here! Coming! We won't manage without your gifted hands! We have to lay the table! Stop working! Be right there! Mom! You can work all you want later! Come on! Mom, what? Could you be a little bit more quiet? I just tuck the kids in. Okay, not like I've ever woken your children. Grab the bag. I'll get it inside. Why did you carry it then? We have everything we need, Mom. My lovely grandchildren. If anyone loves it, it's the grandkids. Although they don't look like me. They look more like you and your son. Wow, so beautiful. Ivan Kapitanovich. Yeah. Come to the table. I'm going. Come on, everyone, gather up. It's getting cold. Let's eat it while it's still hot. He must think we have a feast like this every day. So true. And we can't even remember the last time we got together. Right, girls? So true. But for a guest like this, it would be a shame not to get together. And since you are basically the only man here, let me court you like I mean it. Mom. I don't know. I don't drink. Why drink vodka? Well, what else is there? 
What, like at all? Sometimes, but as a rule, no. Attaboy. Which is more than I can say about your daddy. Mom, he'll suckle on the bottle, then play the balalaika all night long. Come on, then. Pour it, pour it. What are you waiting for, Milka? Don't be shy, Ivanka Patanovich. It's all simple around here. Maria, a shot of vodka? A shot of vodka. I'm not drinking. Zoya Simonovna, I've been meaning to ask you, why do you shorten her name to Milka all the time? Your daughter has a such a beautiful name. Mila, Milushka, and you. Milka, Milka. Of course it's beautiful. I gave her that name myself. I've never been too fuzzy-wuzzy with her. Right, baby? And it was the right thing to do. Look how great she turned out. Okay, that's it. Stop it. Except the wrong guy got her. What I want to say is... Say it. I'm glad. Really glad that I'm here. Really. I'm amazed. Very glad that you came too. Let's drink. Why wouldn't we be glad? Ivan Kapitanovich, you must have children too, back where you live. Yeah, I do, I do. You've had so much fun. A daughter and son. Really? You live the way you want to, right? And now you come here and... Mom? What a daughter-in-law he's got. His son's all grown up, right? All true. And the grandchildren. All true. Beautiful kids running around, smiling, clean, right? Grandma's taking good care of them. Mom? Wait a second, let me finish. The kids' names are Lena and Igor. Just like Zhen is in mine. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Yeah. <laughs> to children, then. Right? Come on. To Lena's, to Igor's, and to my beloved daughter. Ivan Kapitanovich, your children must be all grown up, huh? Yeah, they're adults. My daughter's married now, and my son is in St. Petersburg. About to graduate from the military academy. He's almost an officer already. Where? Did you hear what he said? I mean, in Leningrad, yeah, in Leningrad. Did you hear what he said? What is this, 1917? Mom. What a great liquor I brought. Tell me, how do you like the roses? Incredible. Yeah, every petal? Ivan Kapitanovich must be tired. He should get some rest. Come on, uh, why would I get tired? Mushrooms? I'll be back. Some herring? Excuse me for a minute. Did you hear it? Hear what? He's weird. He's not weird. Mom, you say everyone's weird. He overworked himself. Look how much he's done around the house. Hey there, girls! Hello, hello. What's the occasion? I brought new newspapers. And rumors, too. Rumors, huh? Who's the first to listen to them? Sit down. You've got a guest? It's my birthday. Oh, right. That guest everyone knows by now. There just isn't a letter, I mean. No, no, no. I still have to make rounds. Come on, not like you're going to fall off your bike. No, Mila, really. It's the Far East. Imagine how long it'll take that letter to arrive. He'll get here before the letter does. I'm completely serious. Why does she worry so much? Girls, I have a story for you. So, there's a rumor going around. I think it's all true. So, some hypnotist showed up around here. He's a drifter. He'll tell you all the truth, predict your future, all that stuff. He diverts people's attention. And then, their jewelry and money are gone. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you. And I believe it. Seriously. Milka. Listen to me. Go check the money in the cabinet. Mom, it's all there. I told you to go check. You go check if you want to so bad. I will, my dear child. What else can I do? What was that? What? Who is that? Who's there at your place? That's Jane's dad. He came over. Really? Hello, Shura. I'll go wash my hands. Hello. Well? Looks all right. 
Are you happy? I am now. Listen, that relative of yours, he came up and said, Hello, Shura. How does he know that I'm Shura? No, really. On the St. Petersburg thing? He says, my son is studying in St. Petersburg. Right. KGB? Girls, this is KGB. No. Why not? Because if he were from KGB, he wouldn't have said St. Petersburg. Girls, that was a task. Thank you. Maybe I could help you after all. No thanks, Ivan Kapitanovich. I'll handle it from here. What? It's pretty fitting for the KGB agent. <laughs> That's right. Yesterday, Shura was confident you were KGB because he told her by her name. I've told you already. I heard it at the bus station. Someone called out and it stuck in my memory. That's what I told her. That's all right. We have to be vigilant. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's all right. I want to have a go. Can I please sit over there? Let's go, let's go. Igor, will you let Lena have a go? What's the matter? Let's let Lena have a go, okay? No. Why? You've had your time. Now it's Lena's turn. Come on. Igor. Hop. Ivan Kapitanovich, they will tire you out. It's all right. Get out of here. Help, help. What was that? Who were you saying get out to? Everything is okay. You don't know how to swing. Well. Igor, what have you said? Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe we should get the toys. We're going back soon. Get all the toys? Who's past their bedtime? Mila, I want to ask you. How many shells to put in the cupboard? Three or four? Ivan Kapitanovich, you've done so much already. Come on now. Let's not have this conversation. I owe you for leaving here anyway. It's just that, like I said, Zhenya won't be very pleased, I'm afraid. Yes, he will. When he comes here, we'll sit down and talk it out like men. We'll make peace. So, what's going to be? Three or four? Let it be four, then. There's going to be a lot of jars here. And I'm going to make some apple jam, too. Yeah, but it seems to me these kids don't let you work at all. Come on, no. So, let's go play at the table. All right. All right, let's go. Careful. We play for a little bit. It's their bedtime already. Let's go. Igor, come on. I'm not going to sleep. You're not going to sleep? Okay, you aren't. She's calling me a princess. I'm Igor. What is she calling you now? Princess. I'll show you, princess. Come on. Come on, take Igor's hand. Damn it. Get your toys. We're going home now. What happened there? Did you get a splinter? There, right under the nail. Let me see. That's deep. Don't need a needle. Really? Let's go to the kitchen. I'll help you. I'll clip the nail with some scissors. Come on, come on. Never did know how to do it with the left hand. It's just amazing how much you look like, Zhenya. Let me help you. Come on. Does it hurt? No. What are you doing? 
What the hell was that? What the hell was what? Don't you play dumb. Don't you get it? For shame. You're an elderly man trying to grope me. And you wanted someone your own age, huh? What is this? What right do you have to insult me? Who do you think I am? I didn't even know you a week ago. I took you in with open arms and you? If it's like that, then get out. Go live in a hotel until Eugenia comes back. And you're going to take someone here, aren't you? Do you have anyone in mind? Tell me. What are you talking about? What is this? Are you crazy? You thought I'd never find out? About what? My dear, I know everything. I'm not your dear, got it? And I don't want to see you anymore. Get out of here. Live wherever you want until Jenya comes back. Mila! Mila! Come on, can you dance? From Zhenya? Who else? Got here from the Far East itself. Thank you, Shura. Thank you. All right, all right. You're still here? It's so nice. Look, I've had enough of that from you. Hello, dear Mila. I miss you and our kids very much. But the situation at work has changed. I still have to deal with the train cars. I'm going to have to stay here another week. It's so nice. And this has nothing to do with cars. How do you know what the letter says? Because it's me, Mila. Me. What do you mean, me? I'm your husband. Virginia. Well? Can't you feel it? Look at me carefully. Don't you recognize me? Mila. Don't you recognize me? Genia! Genia! What is this? How did it happen? How did you get so old? What did they do to you there? It's not a there, Mila. Yeah. Where I am from, there is no you anymore. At 4.30 a.m. in my arms. You are everything for me, and I... It's like the air. You breathe it and never think about it. I hardly even told you that I love you. And when I did, I was forcing myself to do it. I was afraid. Afraid. All of my life. Afraid of commitment, commitment, of love, of betrayal. I've always been like that. You know, when the father left mom and me, she handed me over to... 
forced her home and disappeared. And only when you were no more, I realized everything. How I miss you. I realized that uh, when you were next to me, you were most valuable, the most important thing in my life. And I totally missed it. Forgive me. Forgive me. I thought you'd be there forever. Come on, come on. There you go, just a bit more. Yep. It's almost healed. Yep, it's healing. It's going to leave a huge scar. Yeah, I think it's going to stay there for your whole life. Great. It looks like the letter L. L? L is for love. Love. Do you love me? The? I asked you first. And why should I answer? You're going to stay silent when it's your turn anyway. Right? I think I'm going to die having never heard you say you love me. Bite it on, come on. I don't want to hear you say die. I want to live with you happily ever after. Did you hear me? Let's go inside. You'll get the cold. Why did you tell me all that? Why did I tell you? Because I want to change everything. I want to save you. There's a law called the law of obstruction. It keeps me from meeting myself. If I stay here, with you, young Evgeny's fate will begin to change and he'll never come back here. Never. Because he doesn't deserve you. It's all his fault. Did you hear me? His. The fact that you got sick, that... That even as we speak, he's cheating on you. He never really loved you. Never. And I do. I'll make you happy. Don't even think about it. Milk, listen. Come on. Look at me. Come on, I'm not an old man. I'm strong. I know a lot of things. I can quickly achieve things that would take him and the others years. Everything's changing around us. Everything. The government. I'm going to take up business. I know how to make money, where to invest it, buy up all these shares. They're dumb vultures. I know what to do with them. See? I can do everything. Everything's going to be great. I'll make you happy. Mila! Mila! Give me the photos. Go away.
Just Go get some sleep. And you? See? The grave isn't there. You know what I was thinking about yesterday? Today I got back from that Vladivostok business trip. I remember her face. I remember seeing something in her eyes. Apart from love, I could see some kind of guilt. Vasya, she's not telling me the whole story. Did you tell her? Did you tell her who you are? Yes, yeah, I did. Did you tell her she's going to die? By accident. I didn't mean to, Vasya. How do you do something like that by accident? Well, you see, I'm a human being. She's, she's walking around today. I want to grab her, hug her. Well, and the, it so happened that I touched her. And she's thinking I'm his dad. You know, Evgeny. I thought she was going to kick me out. And she did. Well, so I told her everything, by accident. What? That was the reason? And that's why you had to tell her she was going to die? Vasya, that Jenny of yours never loved her. Never. And I do. Anyway, I want to stay with her. Because when she's with me, I won't let her die. Vasya. I won't. So that's why you told her she was going to die, right? Yeah. And what did she tell you? Nothing so far. Why are you so sure she's going to stay with you? Imagine that she stays with him. She'll never be happy. She knows when she's going to die. She even knows why. How will she live with that? Have you thought about that? No, you haven't. You still don't understand the thing. I have nothing to talk to you about. Okay, Lena, take the dress off. Here we go. Come here. And then towards the evening. Who got here? Aunt Bari is here. Come in. By evening, I'll have fixed the film strip projector. We'll hang a white sheet on the wall that's going to be our screen. We'll watch some fun pictures, interesting cartoons, right? And I won't go to bed? Good girl, Lena. Well, I don't know. Are you going to watch the cartoons in the evening? I am! There. I am! Yeah, I'm going to watch the cartoons. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm Varya. That weather, it's like it's the spring. Just amazing. My sparrows, look what I brought you. We are going to have a nice cultural program. So get some sleep. Get some sleep, then we'll watch the cartoons. There, Granddad is going to show it to you. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking a walk through the river or something. Take it then. It's kind of boring to go alone. Take Mila's mom. She's at home. The riverfront cafes are so interesting. Try them. I've been thinking about ways to get Mila to leave the house and take a walk. She is in there with the children all day long. She never really relaxes. Huh, Mila? Mila. How about we go for a walk? Andvare, could you watch the children? 
Aunt Varya's got things to take care of herself. No, sure, I'll watch them. What's it to me? There you go. And you go. Go. Go on before I change my mind. Traveler. Hello, Shura. Well, don't you feel any shame? Why? Why? One letter over a whole month, Zhenya. Tut tut. I see your postal workers know everything. Yes, we do. For shame, Shura. For shame. Come on, go. Your wife is waiting for you. Why didn't she come clean about cheating on me then? I wanted to. I was thinking about it the entire way back. I'll get there and I'll tell her everything. I'll come clean. And then, near the house, when I walked into the front yard, you threw yourself into my arms crying. Crying? What was I crying about? I don't know. But in your face, in your eyes, there were... I cannot describe it. It was both love and pain. I couldn't. I just couldn't tell it to you then. But I decided to never come clean with you. And I'll never cheat on you. And now, when I think about the way you looked at me, I think... Tell me, is there someone very dear to you? I mean, deep down in your heart, could there be someone like that? Yes. Do you have someone like that? Yes. And who is it? My dad. Wait. He is buried in a different place. What do you mean? Wait. Wait, Dad, what... he is... Sorry. What, he died? When? What are you doing out here in the cold? I went out to take the newspaper. Bought some bread, just in time. Let's go. Zhenya will be back soon. You should be going. Wait. We have another week. He will only be back in the week. I want to be alone. I still have to muster up the strength to meet him. Why don't you want to stay with me? Because it's impossible. Why? Well, how can we do it? All right, but we can leave somewhere. Where? Wherever. 
to Crimea if you want to. Remember, you would dream about it yourself. We will take Igor, Len and Liv. No. Mila. Tell me, you do love me, right? Tell me. Just explain it to me. What's wrong? I'll try to correct it. I beg you, go away. Where would I go to? I have nowhere to go. No one wants me there. I have no one. No one needs me. The kids, they have their own lives. They are alone there. You're not there. Mila, Mila, I only love you. I love you. You. I can't. I don't want to lose you again. I... Get up. No, it's ridiculous. So he goes, I want to go take a walk down to the river with Mila. Why, Mila? Why not you? No, I'm telling you, there is something wrong about it. Look at him. Bastard. Won't you listen to yourself? You're only thinking about yourself again. Have you thought about me even once? How can you stay here? Can't you see that he can't do that? That this is wrong? Holy moly! What is going on here? Well, that is a real mess. Red lying on the floor. My dear child, have you lost your mind? Mom, what are you doing? Calm down, you've got it all wrong. I've got it wrong? Mila. No, I've got it all right. Mila, what? I'll explain everything. Oh, yeah? Explain it to your son, lover boy. Got the hearts for the young one? Huh? Mila, I want to stay with you. Shut up. Have you heard? She's my wife. Tell her. Calm down. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Tell her. Come on. Calm down. Go and get out of here. Go. Have you lost your mind? Tell her. Come on. Tell her who I am. What are you saying? Stop it. Get out of here. Tell her. Tell her. Get out. Lover boy. What are you standing around for? Don't touch me. Oh, my God. Jesus. What? What? If you spread the word, I'll strangle you. Got it? Like a grave. If I stay with you, everything will change. It will all be good. I won't let you suffer. I'll take care of you the way young idiot can. It's so funny to hear you speak. Funny how? It's like it's him and not you. But it is you. Why should I believe you? waiting for changes. Evgeny Ivanovich, you can't do that. No. God damn, damn it. No, quiet, quiet. Great help you were. Calm down. Why the hell did you do that? To make me suffer even more? Tell me. What has changed? What have I learned? Well, calm down. You wanted to make me fall in love with my wife. Like, suffer some more, you bastard, right? Why did you put me here? Tell me. I sent you there so that you wouldn't commit suicide. Or you'd never, ever see Mila again. How do you know? What the hell can you know? I'll do as I please afterwards. No. Go to hell. No. Go to hell. I'm just like you. Don't you get it? I couldn't bear it when my wife and daughter were killed in an accident. I killed myself, too. Now, if you do kill yourself, you'll never. Do you understand? Never see your wife. Instead, you'll suffer just like I am now. 
just like me. You'll talk to dumb asses like yourself. The stubborn dunk is like the ones you're being now. You think I want to save your soul? To save a life? I don't give a damn. If I'll fail this mission, I'll never see my family. The same will happen to you. What are you feeling right now? Despair? Hopelessness? No, that's selfishness. Get it now? I thought they'd be there forever, too. And when they passed away, I didn't know what to do. I want to be with them. I wanted to feel good again. Do you see now? Me? I only thought about myself. Just like you are now. Grandma, look out! A car! What's with the driver? He fell asleep when driving. He's done. We have to take him to get identified. No need. I know him. All the better. Who would have thought a hero still exists? Master, will you... Will you help me bury him? Of course. Me, the boys, we'll all help, sure. Yeah, but... Everybody thinks he left. Let it be that way. Of course, I understand, sure. It's just that... I don't know how to say it. This isn't Jenga's dad. I know. This is Jenny. It's all me. I thought how to... You know what? I'll write a letter for Lena and Igor. Please give it to them when I'm gone. Just not right away. Of course. I understand. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Elections 2012. Vasya, this is Lena. Our dad is missing. He hasn't been home for the whole day. Is he at your place? No, he isn't. But there's no need to look for him. Lena, I'll come over in the moment and tell you everything. My dear daughter and son, this is a letter from me, your mother. Uncle Vasya is going to give it to you when your dad is no more. Don't look for him. He's buried in the grave next to which I asked you to bury me. You'll understand everything when you've reached the end of this letter. You'll see why I couldn't share the secret with you before. Just know this. I greatly love... Only you, my dear children. And your father, my beloved husband. May your sadness be light. Live long and be happy. 
чувствую себя I feel guilty. Почему? Why? Because Потому if I never let the secret out uh, that it was mom's wish to be buried next to that old grave, dad would never have gone to the past and died there. Don't think about it. It must have been arranged that way. You're not guilty of anything. Uncle Vas is right. It's not your fault. Kotov, Yevgeny and Ludmila. Marina. Come here. And who's that? I hope it's my future wife. Hello. Meet Lena. My wife's sister. Marina. Pleased to meet you. And this is Uncle Vasa, friend of our parents and a good friend of ours too. Pleased to meet you. Why haven't you introduced her to us before? You see, how do I put it? This is an incredible story. Many years ago, when I was little, Evgeny Ivanovich saved me and my grandmother, but died himself. When I grew up, I started visiting this grave here. You are that little girl? Yes. We're very grateful to him, both me and my grandma, except she passed away a long time ago. Once I came here, and met Igor. That's how we met. The strangest things can happen in life. <laughs> you know, I think I'll get going now. I'll give you a lift to the city. Right. Don't mind if you do. Uncle Vasya, see you. Bye. Bye, little sister. See you. Well, we'll be going now. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a nice monument. Yes, it's nice. Hello.